What's going on guys? Matt here with TNM Product Reviews coming back at you with another review. Got a little piece of camera gear here today. So today we're going to be looking at the Rode Video Go mic for your DSLR or camcorder. Uh, so I originally picked up the Rode Video Go when I decided that the audio on the camera the Canon M50 that I used just wasn't up to par. I mean, it does good, don't get me wrong, uh, but I wanted something a little nicer. So I got the Rode Video Go mic, and it is a omnidirectional mic that comes with the, I call it a pop filter. This to me is the pop filter. It's foam, it's not the dead cat. Now we'll get to that here in a little bit. Um, but it comes with its own, or it comes with the the pop filter. They call it a wind filter, and it has a three and a half millimeter jack to connect to the camera. Now, the nice thing about this is some some I guess I, I didn't really research a lot of shotgun mics or omnidirectional mics before I decided on one. Uh, the Rode doesn't take batteries though. I guess there are some out there that do need batteries. The Rode Video Go, Video Mic Go doesn't. Uh, so all it has is the 3.5 millimeter jack on the back and then this is supposed to be an indicator light. This is just a little brass cap so it actually runs off the camera itself though for power. So it does drain your battery a little bit but not enough to really tell, honestly. Uh, when I was recording videos, whether it be family or YouTube videos, you know, my first few videos that I posted on the channel were posted with this mic exactly. Uh, and I couldn't tell a difference in the battery life of my camera. So what you get is the mic, you get the windscreen, you also get the integrated Rycote shock mount. So that way if you happen to bump the camera, the noise isn't going to reflect into the mic itself. Made out of rugged ABS plastic um, and it has the integrated cold shoe there. And most of your standard DSLRs are going to have that cold shoe right on the top. Mine has it right underneath the flash for the M50. So nice little mic, um, really have nothing bad to say about it. It does good. The only thing I guess I could pick out is uh, using it to do these YouTube videos. I noticed uh, right before I switched mics, there was some electronic background noise that was picking up, which was easy to pull out in uh, Premiere Pro, but it was an issue at first. Like I, I heard it and I just wasn't sure what was causing it. There's nothing around me that would make that kind of noise. So I'm guessing it's electronic interference that it's picking up. Uh, like I said, it was easy to pull out during editing, but one kind of downside to the mic. Now, if you notice, mine's actually the um, pop filters kind of form there, and that's because I run a dead cat on it from when we're outside, and that's what we're going to move on to next here. So the once I got the road, you know, doing any kind of video outside, this filter does work, but I ended up picking up just a basic dead cat for on it. Uh, this one is from, let's see, who is this from? Trying to find the company here. It's Rudos, R-U-I-T-T-O-S. So it's just a basic dead cat, nothing fancy about it. Um, it does fit the Rode Video Mic Go. There's a couple others that it will fit. Um, also fits any other shotgun mics with a diameter of three to four centimeters after put on the foam. So it does need, let me set the mic down here. So it does need this foam cover. And that's actually the only way to get it on. Uh, this thing does fit very tight. So what you almost have to do is just kind of hold it open with two fingers, four fingers, and just kind of stuff the foam down in 
once you get the foam inside then you set it back on the mic itself and that's the easiest way that I've found to put it on um, it is kind of a tight fit but for recording video outside these are pretty much a must-have so there it is with the foam inside and then that makes it even easier to just slide back up on the microphone here and then there's your setup so that is how it actually looks when I'm using it normally um, it, sh it does sh shed a little bit as you can see the little pieces flying around here uh, but it is a synthetic uh, string I don't know they call it synthetic fur so just something to suck up and dissipate that that wind noise now the interior length is six and a half inches exterior length is 7.8 inches so there is a seam uh, usually in the front here that's a little bit it closes it off a little closer to the pop filter and like i said this isn't the the road branded one but it does work um, i use this one for probably five or six videos and had no problems with it it was actually on it whenever on and off of it whenever i picked up the electronic noises that i heard from the the road video go mic so i know that wasn't the interference but it does do well with wind i've done some outside shooting with this with some of my o light videos uh, in the dark there it was a little windy and this did dissipate that wind very well uh, your overall price on the dead cat is $11.99 so it's cheap uh, link in the description below before I forget the price on the the Rode microphone uh, so on sale they are $93.42 and normal price is $150 so I will have a link to the exact one that I purchased in the description as well and that moves us on to the last item. So obviously that is a, a nice mic that you can get kind of start you out. Uh, some people just use those mics in general, but you want to protect it. Now Rode also makes a hard case or a hard shell for their mics, but just like everything else Rode makes, they're expensive. So I went with a different company. This is Hermit Shell. And this is their EVA hard protective case for the uh, Rode Video Go mic. And you can put a couple other little mics in there. Uh, the Rode shotgun mic, the little shotgun, the micro would fit in here as well. So it is a hard case, has a little bit of give, not much. And when you open it up, there's not much to it. You have a main compartment, you have a little storage mesh pocket here and i grab my mic so what i usually do in the mesh pocket i throw the three and a half millimeter down in there and then the road in the main case now the one complaint that i did see and i agree with is the case is just a tiny bit too small for this setup um, one, if you have a dead cat on it, you have to kind of move the fibers back along so they don't get caught in the zipper. Two, if you look there, the mount actually sits too high. Now you can compress it down and it will close, but you're, you gotta, you gotta get that mount to actually flex a little bit, which over time might cause some problems, but it stays in the case most of the time now unless I'm doing video for a family get together or I need some different audio, but it does fit nice. And then this is a, a small compact little case that you can stick in your camera bag. It protects the mic, keeps your cord in there so you don't lose it. And then if you have any other accessories, so that's how I keep mine set up. Uh, so this is, like I said, this is from Hermit Shell, your dimensions, uh, 7.1, by three 
by 2.6. Um, so, not huge. It's literally just big enough to fit the mic itself inside and then add the thickness of the walls to it. Price-wise, you're looking at $14.99, so it is a nice cheap option. Uh, I think the Rode one's well past $25, if not close to $50. Now, obviously, it is going to fit better. It's designed for their product, but this works just as well. Um, it does have a little metal D-ring on the outside, so if you want to attach some kind of a lanyard to it or a wristlet, you could. And then on the inside, the material is actually like a soft uh, felt or velvet. So even though there's nothing really on the road mics that are gonna, that's gonna get scratched up, it is protected um, with that soft liner. So that is the first audio setup that I had for my Canon M50. And it worked out well. Um, I, like I said, I have really no complaints about it other than picking up that little bit of uh, electronic distortion. The only other thing, it is an omnidirectional uh, mic, so if you're not standing in front of it, it's not going to pick up the audio as clear. The, some of my original Olight videos when I was outside, I was standing beside the camera, and you can tell the difference when I was beside it or in front of it. Obviously, the audio got louder or quieter. But that's really it. Uh, the, the mic works great. The case is nice, and then the dead cat, like I said, it performed as it's expected. There's really not much to dead cats. All right, guys, that's all I have for you here for the Rode Video Mic Go, as well as the accessories that I have for mine. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button, drop a comment down in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button to let you know when we're coming out with any new videos. That's all I got for you here today, guys. Later.